Welcome to this video tutorial from CoreTechnologies.com. Today, we are going to show you how to use Service Protector to monitor the MongoDB Windows service and automatically restart it if your server crashes or if the service gets stuck starting or stopping. Let's get started. First, download and install Service Protector from CoreTechnologies.com. Next, start Service Protector. Select Protector, then Add to open the Add Protector window. On the General tab, in the Service to Protect field, choose the MongoDB Windows Service, called MongoDB. You will notice a green circle on the left if MongoDB is already running, as was the case on our server. Occasionally, MongoDB doesn't restart properly after a power failure, system crash, or other unexpected shutdown. To protect yourself against those situations, create a batch file that removes the mongodb.lock file from the db directory. Our db directory is c colon backslash data backslash db. So here is what our batch file looks like. Now back on the general tab, specify the batch file in the run this command prior to restarting the service field at the bottom of the window. This will ensure that MongoDB comes up clean if it ever crashes and inadvertently leaves the lock file behind. If you find that the MongoDB Windows service occasionally gets stuck in the stopping or starting state, click over to the Extras tab and check the corresponding options. We are now done configuring Service Protector for MongoDB, so click the Save button to record your settings. In a couple of seconds, an entry for MongoDB will show up in the Service Protector window. At this point, MongoDB is already running, but it is not yet being protected by Service Protector. To start protection, choose Protector, then Start MongoDB. The shield icon will go to green to indicate that the MongoDB service is being protected. That's it! Next time your computer boots, MongoDB will start and Service Protector will begin monitoring the service to promptly restart it if it stops for any reason. We encourage you to edit MongoDB in the Service Protector and check out the many other settings that may be appropriate for your environment. For example, send an email if the service fails, restart MongoDB nightly to cure memory leaks, and much more. Thank you for watching.